San Luis Obispo County is like this little hidden gem. California is developed in the north, it's developed in the south, and luckily for us, it hasn't been developed here. It's as if everyone forgot that the Central Coast exists. And we're based kind of like Santa Barbara was 30, 40 years ago. We're kind of old school. It's a little bit western, it's a little bit beachy coast, and we love our outdoors. We live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. This county is made out of real people with huge hearts. No wonder this was named the happiest city in America. If you're a food lover, if you're a wine lover, if you're a nature lover, you're gonna find Nirvana right here. This is traditional Santa Maria style barbecue. It started back with the Mexican caballeros that used to ranch the cattle here on the Central Coast. And it was really a fusion of barbecue and Mexican, so it has roots with salsas and really fresh ingredients. Old San Luis Barbecue Company, that's part of the heart and soul of uh, San Luis Obispo. It's that Santa Maria style barbecue, that tri-tip. The tri-tip, the tri-tip, the tri-tip. It's what makes Santa Maria style barbecue Santa Maria style barbecue. You're not going to find it in Texas. You're not going to find it in New York. You're only going to find it on the Central Coast. What we serve is Mexico City style food. I bring the tortas, which is famous tortas, Cubana tortas. I bring the huaraches, special tortilla in Mexico. And then I brought the fruits, smoothies, milkshakes, and aguas frescas. Most of the people, they don't know about blue corn tortillas. I'm explaining. In Mexico City, we use the blue corn, which is dark, but it's a good flavor. We don't just talk about doing fish, we really do fish. We buy direct from fishermen and we're the only restaurant in town that has its own fish market. Because I'm not the only fisherman that produces great fish in California, there's lots of them. And so it's, it was nice to open our own restaurant and start promoting other fishermen and, and their fish. If you want that casual, great fish, then you come to Dockside. You sit on the patio, listen to music, and enjoy the sunsets. There's always a sea lion or two in the water next to you, or sea otters, and it's a really neat spot. And we've got a pretty good view on that patio. We really enjoy going out in this section of the Central Coast because we're close to the dinosaur caves. It's all volcanic ash, which is hardened into about the same consistency as sandstone. So we actually have some really cool arches and rock grottos that we can paddle through. And since the beach is south facing and most of our swell and wind comes from the northwest, it's generally protected. We have the typical climate that you find in Napa Valley, but we have the soils that you find in Bordeaux, France. So that combination allows us to have an incredible, magical place to make beautiful wines. Our passion is Cabernet Sauvignon. This place can make some of the best Cabernet Sauvignon in the world. There is an alternative to Bordeaux, to Napa, to other places to be able to enjoy those type of high-end Cabernets. When you're here, you can enjoy a wonderful glass of wine, a beautiful meal, and at the same time, have a wonderful view. There's only like a handful of drive-ins left in, in California and only a couple hundred nationwide, so it's pretty rare. Oh, Sunset Drive-In's awesome. They still have great movies there and it's like the old days. It's a lot of fun no matter how old you are or how mm -hmm. young you are. Pile into the back of a truck, order a pizza. People will bring like couches and stuff so they can sit outside the car to enjoy the movies, especially on the summer nights. They just like to come and, you know, hang with their family and friends. Our motto is kind of simple American beer. We have a three barrel brew house in the back of the building. We are very well known for our Imperial Red and our IPA. Those are generally the ones people will request. Our space, we really want them to get coffee shop, like coming in, having a couple beers with their friends, chatting. This is a cocktail dive bar. Do we want to say dive bar? <laughs> I, I call it a, co a cocktail dive. That's the way I would describe it. You can get an amazing cocktail or you could get Coors Light for $3. Danny's kind of brought in like a lot of high-end whiskeys and he does a lot of really nice cocktails, which is rare for a Toscadero. 
We are the fourth owners of a bar that's been here since 1942. There's been gambling here. People have been stabbed. Don't say Seriously. that. Seriously, no, no, Jesus, I'm just saying the, the history of the place since oh 19... Oh my God. No, since 1942, it's got a lot of cool history in that sense. You should come to the Silver Bar because you'll never see anything like it. When you think of Madonna Inn, you think of pink, you think of lots of rock, and lots of awesome carved wood. The Madonna Inn in its entirety is a reason to come to San Luis Obispo. This is a great spot to end the day. You know, go out kayaking or maybe go hiking and you know, end the day here with a little dancing and a nice drink and um, maybe some dessert from our uh, bakery. What I love most about San Luis Obispo is the warm character of the community. It's that uh, warmth of the people who care about each other and embrace uh, people that come to town too.